Hello, today we're talking about arithmetic means. Essentially, these are these spaces. So if we're given two terms of an arithmetic sequence, and there are terms in the middle that you want to find, you can find these fairly easily using the formula that we talked about yesterday. So often in algebra, we have certain relationships, and if we fill in the things that we're given, we can find the unknowns using our algebra rules with the variable. Okay, so let's talk about the formula from yesterday. a sub n equals a sub 1, which is the first term, plus the number of the term, minus 1, times the difference to find each term. Okay, let's look at what we're given. We have a sub 1. We have a sub n, but we're not going to call it a sub n. Let's see what actual number it is. Okay, so now we have a sub 5, which is 115. So instead of saying a sub n, we're going to say a sub 5, which is 115, equals a sub 1, which is 55, plus, in this case, n equals 5, because of that number right here. Now d, we don't exactly know yet. We know we can find it out based on the patterns, however, that's basically all we have left, and so now we can use algebra to figure this out. 55 plus 5 minus 1 is 4. Just simplifying this. And then we're going to subtract 55 from both sides. So we end up with 60 equals 4d. Divide both sides by 4. And then we end up with 15 equals d. So now we know the difference between each of those. So if we add 15 to 55, we get 70, plus 15 again, and we get 85, plus 15 again, and we get 100. And then as you're doing these problems, just go ahead and double check that if you were to add 15 one more time, you get your answer right there. And then you'll know that you did this correctly. Okay, so let's do one more example. And I just want to point out also that Sometimes when people see three blanks, they think, oh, well, I'll find the difference between 115 and 55, which is 60, and divide by 3. However, I want you to notice that you're actually adding that 15 four times to get to the 115, which is why you actually have to divide that by 4. But following the order of operations and using algebra, we can also find the same answer. Okay, so let's use the formula one more time down here. And so we have a sub n. I'm just going to kind of move it down. OK, so now we have, this time we have a sub n as being 7. a sub 1 is negative 8. So we have 7 equals negative 8 plus, let's just see what number this is. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6. So this is 6 minus 1 times d, which is our unknown that we're trying to find. Okay, so 6 minus 1 is 5. Make sure you follow your order of operations. Add 8 to both sides. Divide both sides by 5. So it looks like the difference between each of our terms is 3. Now we're just going to use that to find our missing numbers. Eight, negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1. Positive 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. Cha-ching! Looks like we're done with that example. Okay, I just want to say any questions. However, if you have questions, please, you can call me at 209-483-1190, or you can message me on Jupiter. Good luck, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.